Hey everybody, how are you all doing out there? This is my uh, martial arts build. Uh, I surrounded it with Phoenix Strike. It's going to be the main targeted skill I'm going to use. Um, I went a little heavy on the uh, the lightning because, you know, uh, I really like the way it looks when it goes around and does its, the, the animation of the skill looks really good to me. I like that. But anyway, uh, to give this more lightning damage, I went ahead and put there. I mean, if anybody's familiar with the build, they'll know what I'm talking about. Um, went ahead and did some shadow stuff, put a few skills here. Went ahead and got one and everything else. I put a couple here. These are just stuff I'm getting off of some of the claws that I have. Um, so that's pretty much the skills. Now, now, let me go back in here one more time here. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to max this one. I'm going to max this one. I'm going to max this one. I need to put other skills in other places, so I'm probably not going to max this one here. Or these two. I'm not going to max these two either. I'm going to try to max this this player out because basically what I do she does or not not what I do she does but she does her own martial arts this one copies what you do but I like the way that she does her thing because the some of the skills that I have she has it makes a good combo at least that's what I understand what's happening and I, I realize when I'm fighting she's doing the same some of the same skills I'm doing so it must be something like that how that works out of all the Diablo players the uh, martial art assassin is the one I know the least about so I'm learning as I go um, okay, so that's pretty much that. Uh, my resistances are okay. I mean, they're not nowhere where they should be by no means, but they're, they're getting there. Uh, my damage reduction is not very good, as you can see. Uh, defense, I mean, nothing's going to be really good right now in here because, you know, I don't really have the in-game gear at all. This is just medium stuff. I'm level 40. This is Nightmare. So, you know, it's whatever. Um, items that I have on, I kind of already showed. Items my murder sales on. You know, it's just medi mediocre stuff because I'm, I'm in a mediocre level. So, uh, as far as these go, we got a little bit of max stuff going on here. It's just what I could basically find in, like, Nightmare Cows, da-da-da-da-da, whatever. Got some running on there. I try to get some of these grand charms with some resist, because as you can see, my resist is not that great. Got some life charms, poison charms, you know, just random, random whatever, you know. Uh, okay, and I already showed you my gears, so let's see how this goes. I mean, let's see what this girly girl can do. I think that's everything. Okay. I tell you, I actually am enjoying it. It's it's funner than I yeah, thought it was gonna be. Coming. That's the skill I like right there. That lightning just that looks so cool. Nice. It really makes me wonder, you know. Like these claws I have on, look how crappy those are. I mean, as far as martial arts go, now it's Wake of Inferno. If I was at Wake of, Wake of Fire, you know, I'd be doing a lot better, but I'm not. This one right here actually goes with the build a little. Sport of Phoenix. So this one's not too bad for the build. But, you know, damage-wise and everything, I could only imagine what a nice pair of claws are going to do. If these are doing this much damage. I mean, you know, at least the physical aspect of it is what I'm talking about. Okay, I don't think I've done the den. Yeah, let's go ahead and knock the den out. I got rushed earlier, so I didn't do the game, but I didn't do none of the little... Well, I did a couple of the skill things in Act 4, I think, but... Okay, let's see. So we'll go ahead and knock the den out here. Oh, that's so awesome. So amazing. Let's see what happens if I just use the light beam. See, it's it's funny how it doesn't do the explosion like this, that. I mean, I, not that I've seen it, at least when I just used the, only the claw. But I think it just does a Nova. 
I love the weapon killing stuff with a couple of shots. That's so funny. And yeah, I used the bow girl because that aura right there makes you run super fast, and I like that. I like running fast. Especially since you can't really teleport. I don't have any teleport stuff. So. Yeah, it does like a totally different attack. It's like a Nova. Okay, let's look at fire one. I think this is just like a fire explosion or something. Yeah, fire explosion. Whoa, 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 we're done? Wow, that was, uh, okay. That was really fast. Wow. Fastest den I think I've ever did. I am, you have cleansed. Welcome back. And let's put it... Well, I'm going to go ahead and keep going right there, because that's basically my main uh, thing that I'm doing. Okay, I'm not going to do her. Okay, let's go ahead and take out right now. Okay, we'll go down here to the bottom. Some people go to the top. I feel that the bottom is better to go than the top is, because it seems like most of the time, well, 98% of the time, I would say that it's down here. I think a couple of times it's actually been up there. And it was so long ago, I can't even remember the last time it was up there. Now watch, just because I'm saying this, watch this map be the one that's up there. But I mean, the power of the martial artist here, man, is just uh, really impressing. I mean,. I, I was, I'm stunned. I mean, this is PD2. This is a mod. This is not the real Diablo. It's a mod of the Diablo where they have actually enhanced everything that is kind of weak there. It's strong here. Um, so you get to experience a different, basically, play style than you do over there that's actually viable toward end game. And obviously going through the game, as you can see, I mean, what am I, level, level 45, I'm just eating this up. Wow, it just plows right through it. That is so cool. I've tried martial artist on the original game, Lord of Destruction and everything, and uh, yeah, it definitely didn't put out the DPS like this is putting out over here. This is really cool, you know. I'm trying to get some more life. My life's kind of low because I was putting so much in the decks and strength to get some of the gear on. And, and it makes it hard to put in like decks and strength, so. Let's see. Let's go keep going right there, man. Once I get that maxed out, I'm going to go ahead and max out the uh, Paws of Thunder here, and then I'll go ahead and do Blade of Ice. And like I said, I'm probably not going to do the Fire one. We'll see. I mean, we'll see. I might do it. It's just that Hell has so many fire immunities, I just don't know if it's worth it to, to really mess with that one. I mean, it might be. Like I said, out of all the, the characters, the least experience I have is this player, this particular build right here. Now, Trap Assassin, I know I know that one really bad. But that's just it, is it wasn't viable on the original Diablo game, so, you know, I don't really know anything about this. I learn as I go here. I haven't even looked on the internet of any, like, guides or anything. I just kind of slapped this together, kind of read everything, and given it, given it a go freestyle, I guess. And uh, so far, I'm impressed. I mean, if there is a guide out there that's really good, I'm probably going to look into it later. I might even be able to get it even stronger than it is now. There might be some stuff I don't even know. I mean, I, I mean I'm quite sure there is. So, the strive for knowledge, you know, is, is definitely in my... Uh, and my thoughts to become a better player at this particular player here. And I'm gonna make another video on this build once I get to end game. And by then I'll go ahead and look at some study guides and this and that, and I will definitely inform you guys of my findings if you're interested in making something like this. 
And if you have made one and you got any suggestions for me, man, leave them in the comments because I would really like to learn off anybody I can. I have a really open mind. I'm not, you know, going to say my opinion in the way that I think is the way that it is. I'm not like that. I look at what everybody has to say. I mean, in life, I've learned it's better to keep an open mind when it comes to trying to gather knowledge than trying to say, oh, well, my way's the best way. And I try in my real life not to be that way, too. Because I've, I learned early on in my life that I learned way more by keeping an open mind and listening to what other people has to say. I mean, even if you've already done what they're talking about, go ahead and listen anyway because they might tell you something that maybe you did it the way they're doing it, but then they did it another way that actually made it work. And I mean, I'm, I'm, when I'm saying that, I'm saying that in all aspects of life, not just video games. Uh, served me well to be that way at least. Hmm, interesting. I, I don't really have time to look at that right now, but I'm going to just put it in my stash because... I need to actually look at that circulate better to really get a, a grasp of what it is, because look at all that. Okay. Keep going right there. Just keep chunking it in there, man. One thing I do like about Diablo, I mean, if you look right here, the symmetry is down on the bottom. Like, you kind of know where to put the skills, because it's telling you right there. Pistol fire, 10% per level, you know. Uh, it looks like another. You actually get two centuries from that. Wow, that's... Oh, okay, average fire damage, and then claws, and... Bla okay, so, so, so what I'm saying right here, you know, is this. But, like the Hammerden, for instance. There's a skill that ups his hammer damage that's not actually on the hammer skill. I can't remember. Bless aim, I think it is. I think it's blessed aim. I could be wrong. But there's one of, one of them there that you put you can put skills in and it ups the hammer damage and it doesn't say it. So, is there one here that ups this damage and it ain't saying it? I have no idea. I mean, maybe if I hit two or three times this and then hit with this, it might do more damage. That's the stuff I don't know yet because, like I said, I haven't really looked at any guides or anything when I went to make this character. I mean, I'm I'm pretty good at the game, decentable. I'm acknowledgeable with a lot of different characters. So I kind of know how the game goes. So I kind of, you know, have a really good idea, a foundation on what to do. But but just like that hammer skill, you know, if anybody knows anything, let me know, man. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, okay, we can, let's go ahead and jump down our seat and get that uh, tro uh, trophy, I guess it is. I call it a trophy. I don't know. Pretty sure that's what it is. He's got my head on My rusher killed all this stuff. Right. Yeah, my life's going down, but it's, I got some dual stuff, or lynch stuff on me. So actually, dual lynch stuff. Okay. Alright. Well, that was easy, but they didn't drop what I wanted, so there must be a demon back here somewhere I got close enough to. Sometimes you gotta struggle to find him. Hmm. Usually they give it to you, but this time they didn't. Get it, usually get it right there. So that means when this happens to you, that means there's a demon close by. And his life is gonna look, you know, tougher than the other ones, and that's the one you gotta try to find. You gotta try to find him. It could be any anybody, any demon. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I maybe there's one. I'm not seeing any demons here. That's got the you know, that's one of the tough ones. Maybe it's back here. Huh. Okay, well, when this happens, then you got to go down here. If you're just not finding anyone, which I'm not, he's probably got it right there. You got to hunt this guy down. There it is, see, just like that. It's supposed to be the first demon you come across. Well, that's strange to me that he was all the way down here. And I ran into these guys first. Interesting. 
Huh. You know what? I'm chanted. Is my gloves chanting me? Two chants to cast a little tin and chant. Oh, okay. Because I, I just realized my claws are red. I knew that none of this enchanted me, but these do. Oh, excellent. I didn't even know that was on there. I never really stopped to really look at those gloves. Okay. So. Okay, I have a lot of these. Actually, you know what? Let's just keep them. Hold on. My goodness, look at the poison damage. But I mean, you know, who are you going to be hitting with that? I ain't no. I'm not going to be hitting anything. Well, free. Welcome to. So, yeah, you know, like uh, I was saying, though, like the martial artist here in this game got buffed. So, everything does a really good damage. Not only that, but they actually changed the mechanics of how it works. So, like when you. When you continuously hit, well, you know, in the, in the original game, you'd have to go like, let's see, where's it at? You'd have to hit with this to get three circles, hit with this to get three circles, and stuff like that, and then do a finishing move, you know, one of these or whatever. Do a finishing move, and then all of the things that you built up go off. Well, here, just hitting with this, boom, 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 they go off automatically. And I like that a lot better than I do the original. I hope that, that they... You know, they're, they're adding a lot of stuff to Resurrected right now. So I really hope that they look at that as far as the mods go. They got one guy there that's, uh, Lamas or Lama, his name is. And he's, uh, you know, giving them information that we're telling him and all that stuff. So I hope he gives them that information. So, so they can make the changes to the martial art tree more of how it is here. I'm not saying do exactly what they've done, but it should be it should be something like this. You know, because it makes it a lot more smoother and easier to deal with. What do I have left to do here? Is that the forge? I think I have wait. Yeah, let's go to the forge. And then I'm probably gonna end the video there. I just wanted to kind of showcase what I'm doing. You know. And Actually, let me show you what I'm talking about, actually. Okay, so say I wanted to strike with this. I don't have to change anything or do nothing. It's just going to go off itself. So, yeah, it just went off itself. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't switch any, any, uh, like, if I hit once, there's the ball. Hit twice, there's two balls, and then it goes off. Boom. Just like that. And then, of course, the Phoenix Strike, as you can see, let's see it just go off. I ain't got to do anything. It just keeps hitting that does all that stuff. That is so awesome. I love that. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Feels a lot more smooth and comfortable. To me. And when I make my videos, I don't do any editing or anything like that. Uh, basically, I guess it's sort of live that I do. And I don't go back and change anything I've said or anything I've done in the game or anything like that. Eventually, I probably will edit stuff, you know, when I get more popular or whatever, I guess you could say. To, but I like keeping it real. I kind of just go with whatever I'm doing. I'll talk about it. and Yeah, like I said, I don't edit or nothing. So when you get my video, you get it all. You get it just the way I record them. So if I say something stupid <laughs> or something that didn't ain't true or whatever, you got me, I guess. Uh, I don't know everything about the game. I'm pretty knowledgeable in it, but it, like, I don't know everything. If there's anything I say that's wrong, correct me in the comments. Let me know about it. All right, here we go. But ain't this amazing what level I am? I mean, I'm level 46, and I'm just chewing this up, man. As I'm saying it, I almost get one shot, but I got it. Yeah, it looks like a brick, huh? He's the toughest one I took on so far. But look at that. How that skill just goes off and off and off and off. That is so cool, man. I love it. It's like constant DPS. Just boom, 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 boom. The faster you can swing. You know, the faster you can swing, the faster damage is going out there. That's an interesting helm. You know why it ain't good enough, though? Because it's only three. Or, I mean, two. It needs to be three. I mean, don't get me wrong. It would be decent. 
But that's not the character we're talking about right now, so. Mm, they're not bad. That strength is way too high, though, for this character. And as far as my barb goes, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to do a video on every character. You know? I want to, I want to do a video now when they're about midways because, you know, if you do a video when they're super, super low level, it's not very, it's, to me, it's not very exciting because there really ain't much that character can do at that point. But when you get about here, about level 40 to 41, 42, where you can actually start getting some decent gear on them, the <clears throat> it seems like the video, you know, you can sh showcase the, the, uh, the character more this way. So I try to just wait until I'm, you know, built up better. Whoops. Swing, stupid. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Well, I mean, hell rooms, you know, they have a use. You need to pull a socket out or something? That's really nice. I get me a couple of, probably a couple of Shadow Grand Charms or Martial Art Grand Charms for that. Alright, that's gonna put this pretty little thing in my stash. Either that or I, I mean, I am going to do a Poison Bone guy too, so we'll just have to see what I do with it. I don't know. I, I Poison and Bone Necro, I'm not really, don't really like them that much. So, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to do one of them or not. We'll just have to see how it goes. I'll probably just trade that, I betcha. Anyway, uh, I better put some Dex. My Dex is kind of low. So is my life, though. Eh, yeah, whatever. Alright, man, that's pretty much the build. I mean, I'll show my items one more time. As you can see, these claws and stuff are definitely not... I mean, this one's okay. This is actually pretty good, especially for level 30. That thing's pretty amazing. Four to, it's four to everything that's down there, so... It's actually pretty nice, actually. Do dual lance and everything. Uh, these boots are pretty decent, actually. These are actually in-game, too. Uh, they need to be better than this, though. I'd like to have the 25. Uh, this ring's definitely not going to go. That's not going to go. This is this is pretty decent. Really good attack speed. Not going to be in-game. Not going to be in-game. Not going to be in-game. So, you know, lots of room for the character to get stronger. Now, I have some claws up here. This is not a... a, a definitely not got the skill where I need it to be in the martial arts. But, I mean, it's decent. It's pretty tech gun good claw, man. I mean, the resist is maxed out. The mana per hit is just about perfect. Enhanced damage is lagging. Two to shadows is there, but the other martial arts are missing in that particular one. What's this? Okay, this is just a little higher up random claw. So, I'm probably going to go with this armor here because it gives, uh, open wounds and all that, you know, deadly strike and all that. So this is probably going to be my in-game armor. At least, that's the best armor I have for this particular kind of character. Besides what she's wearing, I've got to make a choice between these two, and I don't really know which way to go yet. Like I said, i got to study. I don't know. Yeah, it's a work in progress. Uh, probably not going to be my in-game helm, but it's there until I can find something better. This is going to be for the mercenary. I like having that on the merc because it attacks him fast. Uh, I don't think I really have a lot of in-game stuff on me. I don't know if I'm going to... I'm more than likely not going to use that. I just, I just had to figure out what I'm going to do exactly. But uh, Anyway, you know. So, alright guys. I will, I'm going to do an update video on this character. Her name is Black Belt. In real life, I'm a second degree Black Belt. So I figured if she's martial arts, why not make her a Black Belt? <laughs> um, hopefully, when I do the in-game build, I'll have these maxed, everything good, and she will be doing a ton of damage. I want to try to make it where she attacks super, super, super fast. So, if I can get maybe the Barb Merce and get Phantasm on him or something, or maybe the, uh, maybe the, uh, maybe the one I have here with the Phantasm bow, Faith bow, would be really nice to get some Phantasm. I'm going to probably max out, uh, this, first to speed. 
That does give attack speed, don't it? Yeah, attack speed. So we're going to do that. I'm going to try to get claws that have really fast attack speed. Maybe put some uh, shell runes in the claws. If I can get two or two to three socketed claws, preferably something like this, except for, you know, have it have three sockets. Uh, let's see. That, in that case, I might stick with this armor. And then I want to find a helm with three sockets so I can put attack speed. That's, you know, something like that to give it super fast attack speed. So, we'll see. Alright, all. Peace out. Have a good one. And I'll get back to you.